Last week, the Montana Egg Network took you to Hobson, where a group of residents are banding together to save a piece of Montana history. Come to find out it's not just the locals supporting the cause. 50 miles down the road in Harlowton, Galley's Brewing is doing their part to help preserve a Montana icon. Here's MTN's Jason Laird. Storing grain for nearly a century, the Hobson elevators are facing the end of the line. But the very crop that these Montana icons were built to hold just might be their saving grace. I mean, what better way to save a grain elevator than with its very own brew? And that's where Galley's Brewing in Harlowton, Montana comes into the picture. You know, we're the closest brewery to them and said, hey, we really want to save these elevators. We were wondering if we could have a brew you know, especially for this. And just like that, the pride of the Judith Montana Amber Ale was born. It's just such a, a feel-good beer. But to carry a name like Pride of the Judith, this beer had to be something special. The name emulates everything we're about. It kept developing into more and more, you know, like, well, wait, hey, maybe this beer can be 100% local and can be grain from the area. The way it works is a dollar from every pint sold of Pride of the Judith beer is donated to the cause. It's a buck to keep them up. Saving something in Hobson that the people there felt as iconic touched to us the same as an old building here in, in Harlow. It's an example of neighbor helping neighbor, small town Montana banding together to preserve a way of life. In Harlowton, Jason Laird, MTN News. Local ingredients for this beer include malted barley from Farm Power Barley located in Power, fresh hops from Chinook Hops in Sydney, raw barley from Heartland Seed in Moccasin, fresh honey from Steve Park Apiaries in Fairview, rolled oats from Cream of the West in Harlowton, and last but not least, coffee grounds from Be Right Back Coffee in Harlowton. So far, the beer has raised about $600 for the project.